episode on the Ring of Druids Vanilla server. As you can see it's peonard and it seems to be always raining in this area especially the spawn area of the map. So what we're going to do we're going to quickly sleep because I think it's dark time and that's it it's night time so we're going to sleep. We still have loads of things to do over here like get our uh, get our lovely uniforms over here and set up. Oh it's stopped raining now thank god. We've done the uh, little bit of bits. So you can see I've done some bits over here already. I'm not sure about that. That's going to be cut off anyway. I don't know why I have windows there, to be honest. You're only going to see a brick wall. So this is what I've done so far. I need some more spruce spruce wood. So I've got to drop down some more trees. That one's got to go. So that'd be one to do. And pretty much I started doing and putting in the walls and stuff. So as you can see, we've done a little bit of work here, and we've got our walkway stairwell coming down. I'm going to put like a, a safety rail all the way around. I think that would be fantastic to do that. This was going to be storage up here, but I don't know how wide to make it. This is four wide from that entrance, that part there, that inlet, because we needed to have it a barrier there so it makes it free wide you can walk around here or you can walk around this side of the stairwell I need to sort out the stairwell a little bit because I think I need to put that one now and yes that one was correct gives you a bit more space over here now this is going to be the end of it you're going to be uh, having like I said, I'm going to have a fence post all the way around here to make it more safe for health and safety. You know, in the workplace, you may have got to make sure you have health and safety in the workplace. But we're going to need to do some more bits and pieces here. Now then, looking at what I'm doing here, I can't work out what I am doing here. They are flush. That one's flush with that wall there. And that one's flush with that wall there. I think the top ones are going to be flush. And the bottom ones are not going to be flush. Yeah, that's correct. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have all these flush walls against the wood here. All flush out there. So it's flush straight all the way up. But the bottom ones are not. Let's go down and have a look. It's quicker just to fall down here. So they're going to be one in here. So they're going to be one in which is going to be absolutely perfection apart from yeah apart from what no that is correct there is one in there too but that's what we're going to do we've got it off the ground a little bit there as you can see that's fine no mobs from spawn underneath there we've got ourselves a little tree farm going so we needed some oak i now need some spruce so i'm going to make sure i grow some of those this is going to be in the main flooring so we need to definitely fill this in. I need to get some more oak wood because I run out. And yeah, that's pretty much where we've got to so far. We're going to have to uh, definitely, definitely get this sorted out a little bit more. We're going to start digging away bits and pieces here. I've got a fan on, so I do hope that isn't affecting the uh, audio. I think I have fixed my audio issue that I was having. Down here, as you remember, we'd found our zombie spawner. So this leads down to the zombie spawn. I'm not sure how I'm going to design this yet. But I will probably leave, take that wall out, that wall out, but probably leave this wall in. And probably make, I was thinking about maybe going this way. Put some slabs across the bottom here and make that go that way. And make the killing chamber yeah, the killing chamber is going to be upstairs. Yeah, it's going to be part of here somewhere. Yeah, I'm not too sure now how I'm going to do this. I've got to do some thinking about that, but there's a stairways in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue going. I've got all my uh, lime green. So I think the lime green looks really good. 
I'm not sure how this door is going to be. I think I'm going to have to spruce that up like that, like a little tiny archway. And this is where you bring the wood in. And along here, these places we're going to have, let's see, you've guessed it, some redstone cutting sawmills. Now they're not going to be able to cut the wood, but it's going to be a representation, so that should be fantastic to do. So what we're going to do is we are definitely going to uh, start placing... No, that's not going to go there. What I want to do is keep this open, I think. I think I want to keep both of these open. Yep, the sides are going to be kept open. And ooh, and then uh, we'll work along that. We'll change the the hardened lime green clay. We'll sort of get that out and put some wood in there and sort that out. We need to put a block up there and a block up there. So that's pretty much where we got to so far. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue doing this. And uh, we'll see how far we get from there. I'm going to turn my mic up a little bit because it's definitely not recording that well maybe but we'll see we'll see how it goes i hope that's a little bit better and uh yeah most definitely see how things go so i'll bring you guys back in a few seeing how far we've got and we will definitely make sure that we get as much of this done as possible within the time frame I've got today. So let's get to it and I'll bring you back guys and girls when we've pretty much done all the walls in and the flooring and we'll go from there. Catch you guys in a few. Well welcome back ladies and gentlemen. I haven't finished the walls or the flooring yet so I just wanted to bring you back and have a little chat while we're doing this. We don't seem to have enough chassis sessions when we're building so I thought why not do one now while we're doing I do apologize that the fan is on but uh, you know it's absolutely baking here in the UK today it is Sunday it is Father's Day and this video will probably be going out on Friday which is roughly a week after I'm recording nearly I do apologize for that but i've got a couple of videos that i was hanging around with which are going out before and they are definitely going out monday and wednesday first so what i wanted to talk about well i wanted to talk about basically me i mean we don't get to talk about me much so i thought i'll come along and just let, let you know about me little old me well i'm 43 years old and I've been doing YouTube for a little over a year now, a year and three months, I think it is. So not very long, not very long at all. I'm married, I have a kid, I have a daughter, beautiful little daughter. She's nearly four years old now, so she's really getting into things that she shouldn't be doing, as children do. I work full-time, I'm in full-time employment, so I don't do this every single day of my life. This is not my actual incomeable job, as, as a lot of YouTubers seem to seem to say it is. It's not a job. It's something. It's a hobby more than anything else. It's just a hobby, but you can make money from your hobby while doing this. But uh, that's not me. That's not why I do this. I do this because I enjoy it, and. Uh, yeah, I've always wanted to do YouTube since I ever started watching the Hermitcraft series. As you already know, all the Hermitcraft series, everybody knows about the Hermitcraft series. So let's talk about the Hermitcraft series and why I like it. Well, I have my favourites and pretty much I will tell you everything I know about them. And that is, Zuma is my favourite. He's really knowledgeable about his stuff and really does get talking talking about everything and explains everything quite well then I have mumbo jumbo another one that I like and I actually do enjoy mumbo and his redstone contraptions and, and all that so there's my two favorite ones and I have the obviously obviously the other ones are full symmetry I really like his full symmetry 
and I also enjoy Scar. Scar is probably one of my all-time favourites when it comes to the aesthetics of the build and the way he does landscaping and all of that. So there's my Hermitcraft favourites and I must admit there's quite a few of them on there and I do have some more favourites like Red and Dog, Iskel and all that. But I do like, I really prefer more the original ones and obviously Scar's not the original ones but he is definitely a fantastic YouTuber when it comes to building stuff. You cannot fault him. Also, Hermitcraft is a reason why I really got into uh, doing YouTube because you see all of them doing their videos and stuff and uh, I like Minecraft and that really drew me into doing YouTube videos not because of Minecraft not totally because of Minecraft there was other YouTubers I watched like Sips from the uh, Yogscast and amongst others but they do loads of other stuff as well really enjoy their stuff too so I do watch a variety of people and not just Minecraft stuff I have a few other things on my channel which is definitely not Minecraft related and one series that is definitely not child friendly but uh, yeah that's pretty much me like I said I do a full time job I'm up at 4 o'clock in the morning and I don't get home sometimes until 4 o'clock in the afternoon and most of my time is spent before I get back on to doing any of this is with my wife and my daughter having dinner and doing a bit of family stuff before I get on here to do some Minecraft stuff which approximately is two hours a day and that's if I'm not knackered or totally whacked out because the sun these days working full time in the blistering heat outside with no shade does take its toll on your physical fitness and your ability to stay awake at the end of the day so sometimes I'm really tired so I don't actually get on to do any building or any Minecraft stuff at all which is a shame because you know when you're only limited to two hours a day to get your stuff out like on weekends I do get a bit extra time not every weekend because I am a very busy man outside of this I am what people would call a ghost hunter if you want to call that a ghost hunter I am a ghost hunter a paranormal investigator and which I take very very seriously I'm not like the television shows where you know all the all the evidence could be questionable in some respects not everything there are some things on there on the TV which you think actually that needs further investigating to see what it is unfortunately with the TV there isn't that much investigating to really put any effort in to find out what it is because they've already made up their mind that that is something that the public would like and here's your answer but there is some stuff on there which you know sometimes actually that needs some further investigating because you have no idea what that was so let's go and have a look let's get a proper definitive answer with it so yeah I do that quite a lot not every weekend nearly every other weekend we have a team of people that uh, enjoy it just like me and uh, I run it with my wife we have a good a good team around us very important people as well uh, we have police officers within the team we have electrical engineers airplane engineers you name it we've got some very brainy brainy people within the team and yeah they do not look at it as oh my god I see something I've just seen a ghost when actually it could just be something normal so I do that and I am in the process of writing and sorting out a training training pack sort of training pack but a training session for my team to bring them up to speed with everything which uh, takes a lot of my time up too so like I say I don't just do Minecraft I don't do just do YouTube I'm a busy man outside and away from YouTube too which you know that's what limits me down to the amount of time that I have and can put towards the YouTube channel 
I'm a bit on the uh, silly side as, as well compared to the YouTube stuff because I do not promote my channel. Uh, this is something which I should do to be honest. I don't go out there on channels like Reddit, forums and all that. I do not. I'm on Twitter as you may have seen in the description down below but I do not promote. Um, I, it's one of those things I find very difficult to do. My mind is always active and I always needs something to do and I just I'm not one of those people that enjoy sitting around on forums and stuff I know I should do because it's the quickest way of getting noticed but uh it's I just can't do it I don't know why it's just one of those things that I cannot put myself into reading pages and pages and pages and fundamentally posting stuff in the hope to get viewers and people coming along maybe that's something bad maybe maybe uh, I should do that but I just can't find myself to put my energy into that when I've only got a few hours a night to do to do the recordings and the buildings and the resource gatherings and everything else that goes along before you can do an episode and when you think that Minecraft is so time consuming in itself and the other stuff I do outside of Minecraft outside of YouTube with the work family and my paranormal stuff with my team and stuff and meetings and all of that I just can't find a time sometimes to fit down sit down and promote because I'm itching to get back into uh, building and recording and doing things like that so yeah I find it very difficult to do that sort of thing to promote my channel and I guess that is another reason why I've only got 40 odd viewers because you know it's very difficult to get out there and make a name for yourself without doing all of the uh, promoting stuff maybe I should do some twitch maybe you should let me know in the description down below whether or not I should try out doing twitch I have no idea how to set up a twitch I've got a twitch account but you know I just don't know how I haven't really looked into it on setting all up Twitter or well not Twitter twitch and see how twitch TV and streaming works I've never done that I don't know what I should do, how to set up the pages, how to set up the uh, everything really unless someone down there can give me some advice please put, in there, put down in the old comment section down below and let me know the best place or a link to a place which gives me more in-depth tutorials or even a video out there that gives you a decent tutorial on how to set it up I probably could do it myself but you know like I say it's very difficult to sit down when I want to watch YouTube and watching so many other bits and pieces to get ideas and building techniques and things like that that I always forget to, uh, to research other things so that is pretty much me like I say I am a busy busy man outside of YouTube I am a busy man outside of work <laughs> I'm a busy man through and through which like I say it really limits my time on making these videos for everybody and it is I do put a lot of work into doing these and like I say two hours a night is very difficult and the occasional five or six hours over the weekend when I get some free time so I do my best where I can and uh, I hope you are all enjoying the content I deliver if not again instead of saying you can do better or there's things like this or a few things can be changed let me know what could be changed let me know how I can improve my stuff because you know I'm looking and willing to improve and uh, make videos better for everybody for your enjoyment um, yeah so let me know in the comment section in the comment section down below exactly the best places what we've talked about where to go and 
we'll see what we can do in future episodes but for now i want to just say thank you for listening to me spout a load of garbage out of my mouth so to speak but it's it's me you know it's me this is who i am and uh, i appreciate everyone paying a visit to my channel and watching my stuff and for those who haven't found me yet you know subliminal message going out now using my paranormal techniques <laughs> sending out all the uh mental come to me come to me messages that i can and no i'm not in that way inclined i'm more of a scientific person in that field but uh yeah so thank you for listening to me jabber on and let's get back into the video and see what we've done so thank you very much and we'll bring you back in a few seconds Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, we have done some bits and pieces around here so far. It is peeing up with rain and it's not night time and it would really be nice if we could get this darkness and raining out of the way. Okay, what we do, we continue on. No, nope, no sleeping. So what we've done so far is we haven't put the roof on and we have not built a clock tower. What we've been doing is preparing our next part of our bit of a building session. So what we've done so far is we've put some, we've dug this out to make our way for our entry to a tunnel. It's going to have the back arse of a, a lorry coming out with logs on it. Over here in this general direction we're going to have our log storage I was going to put it over here somewhere but uh, no, I don't think that will work well, over here we will probably do some cut wood storage maybe on the back end of that little bit there that leads down into the uh, zombie area but I definitely think we're going to put some uh, over here some storage for our logs so we have some log storage over here, some plank storage as well. Also some plank storage over there, possibly. I haven't really decided decided yet on how I'm going to do that. The actual building isn't completed yet. Obviously we need to put the roof on. This is going to be open over here. The roof needs to go on and make it nice and watertight to get our redstone contraptions working in there. We've started clearing off all the uh, wood in this area, which is where it's going to be our tree farm area so people can come over and do some tree farming if they wish if they don't that's up to them they can do it wherever they like but there's a nice area over here to do that also over here we've done some other bits and pieces with this still needs to be gone so it's got to go there's a tree here we dug it out we do not need the leaves there Yes, gone. And then we've got a little man over here, a little wood cutting man. He's sitting in a little bit where we can sit in the sun when it's sunny. <laughs> it's always raining here. And a little seating areas where we can have a sit down and enjoy the water. And uh, yeah, pretty much a little hideaway here that we've done. We've also done some caving down there, got rid of all the uh, lit up it all as best we can. But this is where our tree farm is going to be, like I said, and uh, over here will be our storage. I need to finish this off. I don't think I've got any dirt on me now. I've got to get some dirt and finish that off. Clear that up, and uh, we'll probably do the same over there. Dirt it all the way down, clear all that up into one nice colour wall. Down here is our zombie bit, which we still need to put a roof on this. And uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to still work this one I would like to uh, have it have them brought up into a uh, kill zone area up here but that's not going to work as such now so what we do is we'll make sure we can do something down here maybe like I said dig this out and uh, we'll go this way they fall down go along up and round and we'll just kill them over there somewhere we use a technique we did with the uh, skeleton spawner, excuse me, 
up here is the way out of there into this area so that's fantastic like I say we've got this done now just need to finish off the areas this is going to be another episode we need to do the the uh, barges out there for the wood to be taken away upstream which I need to open up so it looks like it goes upstream but yep there's that to do and uh, pretty much I might even try and make the stream go all the way around into the spawn area where the river comes around and have a couple of barges down there with the wood on it you know just to spruce it up a little bit I think I will do that actually that would be fantastic but uh, next episode what we're going to do is going to put the roof on build the chimney which is going to go over there which I do believe you may have caught a glimpse out down there which I've opened up and prepared ready to build a chimney with our burning session of any waste that we produce over here so we'll have that sorted out in the next episode so in the next episode we've still got a lot to do this episode's uh, going to take two to three episodes to complete this and I am looking forward to it so next time don't forget pop along say hello and uh, in the description the other druids go and say hello to them too and if you like this episode please let me know by giving me a like and also what we discussed earlier, you know, give me some ideas, you know, help me out a little bit. We can definitely do with some help. We all can, we're all growing channels on here. So tell your friends, pop over, subscribe to us. All of the Druids need some help and some love. So until then, until next time, take care. Bye for now and I'll see you soon.